Well, it may not look like it, but it's definitely starting to feel more like winter out there. Very brisk. We're back here at a familiar site. Um, we're gonna set up our red inflatable tent. We're gonna whip out the wood stove for uh, the first time this season. I guess we should rotate so that we face the water, eh? If you're new to the channel, this is our inflatable tent. We use this stand-up paddleboard pump that just plugs right into our power station. It usually takes about two to three minutes and the tent's fully inflated. Chester, are you supervising? Making sure he's doing a good job? And just like that, we have a little inflatable cabin. Hello. Hi. And my favorite part about setting up this tent is revealing our skylight. she's gonna go. That one went all the way. I was kind of surprised by that. Closer to the rock? Yeah, weird. Oh boy. This is the stick you want me to throw? It's giant. It is a giant stick. Okay. Ready? Ah. Tricked ya. Oh, <laughs> floor mat delivery. Oh, <laughs> very smooth. Thank you. So this here is our old, rusty, reliable wood stove. A lot of people last year 
found it hard to believe that it was safe to use a wood burning stove in this inflatable tent, but it's actually meant for this. The tent is actually made with heat resistant material and He's all hey buddy. <laughs> and then uh, this is a um, heat resistant mat for the for the floor. Nice and rusty. Nice and rusty. Rustic, you mean? Rustic, yes. What? Oh, he almost got that. He almost got the duck. Still committed. It's duck season, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Did you catch a duck? <laughs> okay, okay. And lastly, we just found this uh, this Y stick, and we just kind of jam it in between the, the stack and the ground just to support the just to support the the stack from the outside. Close that door so this dog can't escape. Might want to take your boots off too. Are you still uh still cold? Yes. Should have chopped some wood. Yeah. I was able to cut all those pieces pretty good except for uh this guy here. I probably took about. We're still gonna use them? Yeah, put it on the bottom. Probably took about 15 swings at it. Can't get through that one. And it's just got a big knot in the middle, right there. And my little hatchet just couldn't, either the hatchet was too small or I'm too weak. Maybe a combination of both, but. Why? Sit. Oh, shoot. Just start moving your snout. Holy crap. <laughs> Work out just fine, I think. <laughs> Got it. Chester. Now that camp's all set up, buyer is absolutely cooking right now. I think it's time for a little refreshment. And also having some bear pepperettes, courtesy of my buddy Kyle. It's freaking good. Mm -hmm. We have this stove thermometer here and kind of just tells you the optimal burning temperature, which is 
right in the middle there. So you can see that we're pushing our limits of, uh, of heat. So as crazy as Chester's been the whole time we've been here, he still apparently has a ton of energy to burn off. Oh, he's in the mud now. Oh no. <laughs> Realistically, like, do you think you're gonna have more than half of this? How many is how many is that? This is three sausages. I'll I'll do what do one more. Go. Telltale sign that it's getting closer to winter is as soon as that sun dips below the horizon, it is just absolutely freezing out here. And also, it's like 5 30 and it's getting dark. Ganoki. Ganachi. Ganochi. Just do it all. Yeah? Wanna eat it all? Do my damn best. Okay. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes. Add a little bit more spiciness. So it's really not. I don't know how much it's gonna wilt down, but. Oh, baby. Oh, all of it? All of it. How we roll. Oops, it's really stuck on there. <laughs> there you are. Mm. Let's go eat in with the warm. Oh, yes. What in? in? It is nice. Oh, yeah. Come on, bud. Come on, Tristan. That is freaking nice in here. Wow, it is very comfortable in the tent. Mm. <sighs> Running cook good. Mm. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. We've made similar to this before. I don't think we've ever made anything with gnocchi. Really? That's shocking. Mm -hmm. I can go ahead and say this is a nine. Mm. I think it's a nine. I don't know what would boost it to a ten, but this is this is good. Eight point nine. <laughs> really couldn't just say nine? No. Oh, you know what would make it a ten? What? It's bacon. Oh, no. That'd be just too much meat. This might be the last sunset we see in a long time that doesn't have a bunch of snow around. It's kind of crazy to think about. This is a bigger piece. It is currently 6.42 p.m. 6.42. And we are heading to bed. It feels more like 9 o'clock. It seems, it looks like 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock at least. But it is not even 7. Um... <laughs> We're just cozy in here. It is nice. It's nice just to be in the tents. We got a lot of logs on the fire. Um, and it's it's getting cold out there. Like I said, I think it's going to be minus four tonight and in the morning. Just to be warm in the tent is uh, feels like a luxury right now. All right. We're going to try to get some sleep. We'll see you guys. We might get 13 Probably hours early. of sleep tonight. <laughs> we could sleep for 13 hours. 
We'll see you in 13 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I slept good from like three o'clock until probably six o'clock, mm -hmm. maybe four hours of good sleep. Other than that, <laughs> not, not great. Not very good. <laughs> oh, I should have got the scooper from the other jar. But it's better that than too little, right? Yes, for sure. The strong stuff. Try letter. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay, go. <cool. laughs> okay. That's so sad. <laughs> Very full. Thank you. We got the, there's a hair in it. Oh. You don't get any because you're chocolate. You don't need any because you're already just crazy without it. <laughs> Ooh, you're cuddly this morning. You were snoring. He was actually snoring with his eyes open. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Chester, come here. Relax. Relax. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, you can't go get it. Chester just. Oh, I think I saw them. Oh, they're over there. Yeah, a couple otters. <laughs> you can see his head. A uh, little excitement to the morning. We started off with just one. I thought it was a beaver, but one otter swam by. And uh, Chester spotted him. Then he rendezvoused with two others. So we had three otters just in front of the... Someone wants to go play with them. <sighs> it's kind of funny. Right before we saw the otters, there was, I guess, a gap in the clouds that and the sun completely illuminated the, the trees on the other side of the lake. And the contrast was just incredible. Joel mentioned that it's funny that when you're inside, you can just miss stuff like that. And you know, you never know that it happened. And right after she said that, she spotted the otters going right out in front here too. Oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Forgot to mention, the channel actually just crossed 100,000 subscribers two days ago. So big thanks to everybody who, uh, who subscribed and has been supporting the journey so far. It's uh, crazy. That's a, it's a lot of people and you know, never, never 
ever could have imagined that we, we could have grown to this size. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much. Cheers. Coffee cheers. Coffee cheers. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one.